at 1600 GMT. Welcome to Bahrain Television's news desk. I'm Yasmin Anan. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Zakhir Palace today the Transportation Minister, Mr. Kamal bin Ahmed, who made a presentation about the steps set to be taken to establish the King Hamad Causeway, which will link Bahrain with Saudi Arabia. Present were the Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior state officials, and the Saudi Arabian Ambassador to Bahrain. His Majesty thanked the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, for naming the new causeway King Hamad. He said establishing the causeway is going to be a milestone in the history of the deep rooted, excellent relations and will embody King Abdullah's keenness to strengthen brotherhood and kinship ties between the two peoples. His Majesty the King noted that the new causeway will contribute in activating commercial and investment movement between the two countries, which will achieve mutual interest for all GCC countries and their peoples. He hoped that establishing this major urban project would reflect both kingdoms' modern development in all fields and highlighted that the King Hamad Causeway will be a new link for GCC countries with an advanced transportation network that will strengthen brotherly ties among the GCC in line with the Gulf system of shared goals and destiny. His Majesty the King made his directives about the new major project, thanking the Transportation Minister and the Causeway's officials, wishing them success. During the meeting, the Minister Ben Ahmed made a presentation about uh, the King Hamad Causeway and said it will be an integral part of the GCC Railway project, which was endorsed by the GCC country's leaders during the Council's 30th summit in 2009. He outlined that the estimated cost of this causeway's infrastructure is around 3.8 to 4 billion US dollars, not including trailers and infrastructure work inside Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. He said the estimated cost of the railway project's infrastructure at around 15.4 billion US dollars, including the cost of linkage between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia through the King Hamad Causeway. The minister added that the causeway will include road and railway transport on a distance of 20 kilometers. He said a train station from Saudi Arabia will be linked to another in Bahrain, said to be established on a new island in the southwest of the southern city. The linkage will facilitate travelers and goods transportation to Kuwait, Abu Dhabi and Muscat. He also said that the project will significantly contribute in increasing travels between the two countries, in addition to increasing economic exchange volume of goods and services. And he concluded the presentation by saying that work will start once the causeway path is approved, the funding system specified and the time schedule is set, which is most likely going to be by next year. Now, His Majesty the King received at Sukhir Palace uh, the former Arab League Secretary General Amr Moussa, currently on a visit to Bahrain upon the invitation of the International Peace Institute at the Bahrain Journalists Association to deliver a speech regarding recent developments in the Middle East and the Arab world. His Majesty hailed the brotherly historic relations between the Kingdom and Egypt and expressed his appreciation for the significant stances towards the Kingdom, as well as its major role in dealing with regional issues. He praised the numerous efforts of Mr. Moussa in dealing with regional and international issues, as well as defending Arab human rights. He also praised Moussa's role in dealing with the recent developments in Egypt, and which the former Arab League Secretary General success during his visit here. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sukhir Palace today the International Peace Institute Director Jerry Rod Larson. His Majesty noted the ongoing cooperation between Bahrain and IPI in serving issues of security, stability and peace in the region, highlighting the Institute's efforts to support world peace. For his part, Mr. Larson briefed His Majesty on the Institute's plans and programs and fields of cooperation with relevant centers and institutes in Bahrain. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments.
Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah Al Sheikh, who presented to His Royal Highness an invitation to attend the reception for the National Day to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness said that regional and international appreciation for the custodian of the two holy mosques reflects his status as an international leader and sheds light on the Saudi presence in the regional and international arena. The Prime Minister pointed out that Saudi Arabia, led by King Abdullah, has achieved development and herbal leaps and has succeeded due to its policies to be a strategic depth for Arabs and Muslims. He highlighted that Bahraini-Saudi relations have a special nature that is fully supported by both countries' leaderships, the governments and peoples, as the kingdoms share ties of love with an addition to their united destiny. He expressed Bahrain's pride and satisfaction of the ongoing development in bilateral relations supported by strong cooperation. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, also received the former Secretary General of the Arab League, Mr. Amr Musa, who is in Bahrain upon the invitation of the International Peace Institute and the Bahrain Journalists Association. His Royal Highness affirmed the necessity of establishing an Arab security strategy capable of dealing with recent developments in the region. He expressed appreciation for the remarkable efforts made by Mr. Musa in reinforcing ties among Arab countries, hailing his significant role of dealing with recent developments in Egypt. The Prime Minister noted the necessity of Arab solidarity to achieve further developments and stressed the need to enhance Arab cooperation to reinforce Arab status in the world. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, also received today the Turkish Foreign Minister, Mr. Mawlud Guashuglu, who is on a visit to Bahrain. The Minister conveyed to His Royal Highness the greetings of the President of Turkey and re-invited His Royal Highness to visit the Republic. He conveyed the greetings of the Turkish Prime Minister and his wishes for Bahrain of further prosperity. The Prime Minister said that Islamic countries must be aware of the level of danger threatening the region and enhance coordination to achieve a more political and economic cooperation. He affirmed the necessity to strengthen Bahrain 
Bahraini-Turkish relations in the commercial and economic fields and continue consultation to further enhance joint cooperation. He noted Turkey's supportive stances to the kingdom in preserving its security and stability, commending the deep-rooted bilateral relations based on mutual respect and coordination in various regional and international issues. For his part, the Turkish official said his country considers the security and stability of Bahrain and GCC countries as part of its own. He highlighted the role of the Prime Minister in improving Bahraini-Turkish relations and cooperation in all fields, commending the existing coordination based on mutual respect to cooperate in regional and international issues. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the former Secretary General of the Arab League, Mr. Amr Musa. Also present were Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince welcomed Mr. Musa as he's hosted by Bahraini Journalists Association to deliver a speech on recent developments in the Middle East and the Arab world under the patronage of the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak. Mr. Musa will also participate in an International Peace Institute event. His Royal Highness praised the wide experience of Mr. Musa in the diplomatic field as he held higher national and regional positions, hailing his tremendous efforts at both regional and international levels. And for his part, Mr. Musa thanked Bahrain's leadership and people for showing their support to Egypt, hailing the consolidated relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, also received at Rafah Palace today the outgoing Japanese Ambassador, Mr. Shigeki Sumi. His Royal Highness commanded the advanced level of Bahraini-Japanese relations due to successful exchange leaders' visits. He valued Mr. Sumi's tremendous efforts in reinforcing bilateral relations and joint cooperation, affirming Bahrain's keenness to further strengthen ties, especially in the economic, commercial and cultural fields. For his part, the Japanese ambassador thanked the Crown Prince for his interest in further enhancing Bahraini-Japanese relations. He also commended the support he received during his diplomatic term in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Education, Mr. Majid Ali Nuaimi, attended today the 64th session of the International Bureau of Education Council in Geneva, in Switzerland, as Vice Chairman of the Bureau. The meeting discussed the new strategic approach of the Bureau and its work program under its new administration, which corresponds with the UNESCO strategies in the educational field, which aim to further develop curricula and teachers' training programs. The Bahraini delegation participated in the discussions regarding restructuring the Bureau and activating its role in developing curricula around the world. The minister noted that the presence of Bahrain as a vice chairman of the Bureau affirms the advanced level of Bahrain in the educational field internationally as a result of Bahrain's leadership support to the educational field. <laughs> 